there you have it, another person sharing their wonderful story with us, James, 85 years old. And I'd like to thank Sheikh Yusuf Estes for helping us out with this interview. I hope the story that James got to share with you is something that will have an impact in your life for those people who are still seeking the truth, wanting to know the truth after hearing his story and watching some of our other shows that you acknowledge and you're ready to acknowledge that you know what you're smart enough to know that there is a creator behind all of this that this universe and everything in it did not just come by chance that there is an orchestrator there is one who is sustaining and maintaining it and he is the most wise he did not just create this all in mere play and foolishness that I will have to go back to the giver of life the one who has made me and I'm going to have to answer for everything that I've done in this world especially what I believed in my heart and that the signs that he gives to an individual and to the nations did I accept his signs and this is one of them know that you are intelligent enough and it's in your very nature when the truth comes to you that it's simple to understand it's nothing complicated it's a way of life that all the messengers of God brought. They all taught the same way of life, submission and surrender to the one God. He is the most merciful. He is the most gracious. He is the king. He is the only holy one. He is the peace. He is the giver of safety. He is the mighty. He is the powerful, the majestic. He is the only true creator. He is the maker of shapes, the most forgiving, the sustainer, the all-knowing, the all-hearing, the most high. He is the protector. He is the most wise, the most loving. He is the giver of life and the giver of death. He is truly the self-existing. He's truly independent on, of all and we are all dependent on Him. Try not taking the air in that He's given you. See if you're truly independent, which you are not. He is the only one truly independent and He is all powerful. He is ever living, the all rich. This is the one true God. In Arabic, we say Allah. In Aramaic, the language that Jesus, this mighty messenger spoke, he would say Allah in Hebrew Allah so it doesn't take person with many brain cells to figure out that the English language Moses Jesus Abraham they never spoke any of this they didn't speak English they never said God so when you put the pieces of the puzzle together Allah 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 this is the God and we just gave you some of his attributes so you know that this is the one that I want to worship. This is the one that I want to turn to who I want to guide me. He is the one, the self-sufficient master who begets not, nor was he begotten, to whom there is no co-equal or comparable, who has no wife, no child, no siblings. This is the one God. He loves you, he wants to guide you, and he will forgive all sins. But you got to turn to him and you got to want it. We talked about some of these other things early in the show that the lights will come on the party will be over this life will end you'll be accountable for your sins and you know we got a lot of them we're coming to a close all I want to say is that we care for our brothers in humanity and we want everybody to be in paradise and paradise is eternal why barter something temporary which is this life for something eternal why would you risk paradise for something in a pleasure that's always in the past tense I was here I went there it will all end it will all be a past tense in paradise it just keeps getting better and better and all you gotta do is one ask for the guidance and when it comes to you submit to this one God and strive to be the best human being you can be doing what this creator wants you to do doing it on his terms not your terms that's all we have for today. I hope that you got to benefit. Continue tuning in every week to The Dean Show. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be unto you.